Okay, we now have the following theorem. Let 1 less than equal to p less than infinity, then w m p 0 for n equals w m p r n for all m greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So, we will prove for m equals 1. The rest will all follow by iteration uh, and therefore, you it is enough to prove for m equals 1. You can see from the proof. Okay. So, we will prove this somewhat carefully so that this technique will be used frequently in the uh, sequel and therefore, it is good to know it. Uh, so, so, proof sufficient to show that if u belongs to w1p rn, there exists phi k in d of rn such that phi k converges to u in w1p rn. This is the idea because we are going to show what is WMP0, it is the closure of D of Rn and therefore, it is enough if you can show that every element in W1P Rn can be approximated by this. So, that will show that W1P is contained in WMP0, the reverse inclusion is always there and therefore, we would have proved the equality. So, this proves that these two spaces are not distinct in Rn. Later on, we will see about other spaces. Okay. So, the first step. So, let rho epsilon epsilon positive be the family of mollifiers. So, if u belongs to w1 prn, then we know that rho epsilon star u converges to u in LPRN. We have proved this result already. Also, d alpha of rho epsilon star u is rho epsilon star d alpha u and therefore, that should converge to d alpha u in LPRN. by the same for the same result and therefore, this implies the uh, rho alpha rho epsilon star u belongs to c infinity of r n because it is a convolution of a locally integrable function namely an LP function and a c infinity function with compact support. So, therefore, you have that it is in c infinity of r n and rho epsilon star u converges to u in w m 1 p r n namely the function and its derivatives they all converge uh, to the correct one. Okay. So, this is, but we have got a c infinity function what we need is a c infinity function with compact support. So, we need to use the cutoff technique. Okay. So, let zeta in d of r n such that 0 less than or equal to zeta less than or equal to 1 zeta identically 1 on the ball center origin radius 1 and support of zeta. So, let us take the closed ball here and support of zeta contained in the closed ball of radius 2. Okay. So, now for every k positive integer define zeta k of x as zeta of x over k. Then 0 of course less than equal to zeta k less than equal to 1 support of zeta k 
is contained in the ball center origin and radius 2k. So, the supports become bigger and bigger and zeta k is identically 1 on the ball b0 with radius k. Okay, so, so now let epsilon k decrease to 0 some sequence of uh, positive numbers. So, let us so let us take u k equals rho epsilon k star u. We wanted a sequence we add rho epsilon. So, recall that u k belongs to c infinity of r n and u k converges to u in w 1 p r n. Okay, so we have remember that from step 1. Okay, now define phi k equals zeta k u k. So, zeta k is a c infinity function with compact support, u k is a c infinity function, and so this implies that phi k belongs to d of r n. And you also have phi k is equal to u k on B closure 0 k and uh, you have that mod of phi k is less than or equal to mod of u k. So, now our aim of course is to show that phi k is also going to converge to uh, u in w 1 p of r n and that will complete the proof. Okay, so, let, let us first look at the LP convergence. So, mod u k minus phi k. So, now I will use my notation 0 p r n that means the LP norm in r n whole power p is equal to integral. Now, integral over r n but then u k equals phi k on b 0 k and therefore, it is enough to take mod x bigger than k of mod u k minus p u k minus phi k sorry power p dx and since mod u k is less, uh, mod phi k is less than to mod u k, this is less than 2 times integral mod x bigger than k of mod uh, u k power p dx. And I want to show that this goes to 0. Unfortunately, both this and the ball both are dependent on k and I want to get rid of that. So, we now have apply the Minkowski inequality on mod x bigger than k. So, you have mod u k power p dx power 1 by p this is the norm lp norm on this set that is less than or equal to by the triangle inequality mod x bigger than k of mod u k minus u power p dx power 1 by p plus integral mod x bigger than k of mod u power p dx power 1 by p. And now, I will rewrite this. This is less than or equal to integral over r n mod u k minus u power p dx 1 over p plus integral mod x bigger than k of mod u power p dx power 1 by p. Okay. Now, we saw that u k converges to u in w and p r n in particular in l p of r n. So, this term goes to 0 and this term also goes to 0 since u power p is integrable and this is the tail of a convergence integral and therefore, it has to go to 0 as k tends to infinity. So, therefore, these things go to 0 and so, you have that phi, phi k minus u k tends to 0 in L p of r n and therefore, that implies that phi k u k goes to u. So, this implies that phi k goes to u 
in LPFR. So we have got at least a C infinity function with compact support which goes in LP of Rn. So now for the derivatives. So step 3. So now let us look at d phi k by dxi. That is equal to zeta k du k by dxi plus u k d zeta k by dxi. This is the usual product rule. Now, exactly as in step 2, we have that d phi k by dxi minus du k by dxi zero p r n that is the l p norm goes to zero. Okay, so this implies uh, that so so zeta k uh, not d u k sorry. excuse me, it's, it should be slightly different. So, this is mod zeta k d u k by d x i minus u k. Okay. Yes. d u k by d x i. So, zeta k d u k by d x i has the same limit as d u k by d x i. So, this goes to d u by d x i in L p of R. Okay, this is exactly as in step 2 and therefore there is no need to elaborate it further. So, we only have to show that the remaining term goes to 0. So, okay. So, now let us look at d zeta k by d x i that is equal to at any x this is equal to 1 over k of d zeta by d x i at x over k that is because of the definition of zeta k and therefore you have this. Now all, so zeta is in d of r n. So all derivatives uniformly bounded and therefore this implies that u k d zeta k by d x i which is equal to u k 1 over k u k d zeta by d x i and this evaluated at x over k, this is at x of course. So, this goes to 0 in L p of r because this is a bounded function u k goes u k is a convergent uh, function and 1 by k is there for you to send everything to 0. Therefore, you have this and therefore consequently you have the d phi k by d x i converges to d u by d x i in L p of r n 1 less than equal to p less than equal oh, sorry i less than equal to n and consequently you have that phi k converges to u in w 1 p r n and phi k is in d of r n and that completes the proof of this theorem. Okay. So, this is a very useful technique which we will uh, use uh, several times uh, convolution with mollifiers to produce a C infinity function which approximates a given function and then cutting it multiplying with a cutoff function to produce something with C infinity with compact support. So, the, this is a very useful technique and the, uh, we have to estimate. So, we have carefully estimated the integrals this time. So, we will use this later. Okay.